Hello, welcome to this tutorial of the Elementary 2016 software. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Sheets along with our spreadsheet widgets to put data up on your project. So I'm going to go into the widgets tab here and open up the spreadsheets folder and select one of these that I want to use. I'm going to use the slideshow.svg. If you want a more detailed explanation of these different widgets, check out the video called Data Driven Widgets. That will give you more information as to what each one of these does. Let me go ahead and size and position this. All right. Next, uh, once I have this layer opened up, I'm going to go to Data. Set the channel to Google Sheets. Once it's done contacting, select the account, uh, your cockpit account, that you have linked to the Elementi software, which is mine right here. Uh, the workbook is CSV test right here and then I want sheet one refresh I'm gonna to set to one hour you can designate a cell range if you'd like mine does not have a specific cell range I want to use so I'm gonna leave that unchecked um, these tables do have headers if they don't so if you don't see these headers these are your headers you can uncheck that and then check mark specify output and define your own headers here. Now I'm going to hit the test button to make sure it's getting the data that I want. Good, so you, these are our headers. Just take note of these. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now the next step is to map our data. Looks like it's already slightly mapped. So if I go to the layers tab, these are our two mapped pieces of data currently which actually correspond to these. That's why we're actually seeing content on the screen. Uh, so we have a text layer named title, a media layer called URI, which is showing two images from my Dropbox. I'm going to add a third by right clicking in the white space here and selecting insert text layer. And then right click on that new layer and select edit text and map the data the same way as those other ones with a double square bracket and then the word message in close square brackets. It should match exactly what this header says here. So yeah, the word message in lowercase. And then if you'd like, you can adjust the font, the font size, etc. And now that is a new text layer here. It says hello world. Now I'm going to click inside the preview panel. This will pause your project and this allows you to size and position your layers within this widget. So I don't want my image to be full screen. Let's put the title right here, and then the message will go around here. And then when I hit play, now it shows the layers in the proper location where I position them. Then I can make changes to this Google Sheet as I see fit, and based on the refresh time that you've set in the data of one hour, it will look for an update every hour. You can also adjust the slide duration, so right now each slide will show up for 5 seconds. If you want to make this quicker, you can, so I could do 2 seconds for instance. And then every 2 seconds it will change. So that's how you can use Google Sheets with our spreadsheet widgets. Uh, there will be further spreadsheet widget videos that talk about Excel as well as uh, regular CSV files that you've seen in previous versions of Elementi. Thank you very much for watching.